The Tudor dynasty is undoubtedly one of the most covered and popular periods in English history. So much about Tudor England is ingrained into the popular historical memory. For example, everyone knows about Henry VIII and his six wives, or Queen Elizabeth I and the defeating of the Spanish Armada. So what is it that makes the Tudor period not only an unavoidable topic of study, but also an area of particular interest in modern society? The simple reason for this would be that so much that happened in Tudor England was pretty important. After all, isn't this the reason why we study any history? But it must be noted that for the Tudor era, this is especially true. The significance of the Tudor dynasty in an English and global context cannot be understated. A brief overview of the events that occurred between 1485 and 1603 show that what happened in Tudor England not only had massive geopolitical ramifications for England and Western Europe, but also for the rest of the world, and in some regard have an impact to this day. For example, let's take the English Reformation. Henry VIII's breaking from the Roman Catholic Church and establishment of the Church of England in order to marry Anne Boleyn, with himself at its head, was hugely significant. This set the country on course for religious turmoil for arguably the next 200 years and ensured that Protestantism would remain a fundamental part of the religious makeup of the United Kingdom to this day. The Tudor era was also the first in which women ruled the country, with the period seeing the first ruling Queen of England in the shape of Mary I, and depending on your perspective, three female monarchs. Under probably the most famous of these queens, Elizabeth I, we saw another famous event in English history, in the shape of the defeating of the Spanish Armada in 1588, which of course is of pretty huge significance, as any attempted invasion of the British Isles has been. Finally, and perhaps overlooked in an English context, the Tudor period saw the beginnings of English colonial expansion with the encouraging of privateering in West Africa and the New World, led by figures such as Sir Francis Drake. This coupled with the attempted establishment of Roanoke Colony in North America and the increasing English influence over Ireland in this period adds to Tudor England's global significance. Moreover, events which may go under the radar have been of great consequence. For example, an early royal mail can be traced back to 1516 when the role of Master of Posts was established by Henry VIII. Even the artistic impact of the period is great, with perhaps the most famous English language writer of all time, or William Shakespeare, operating in Tudor England. These are all events that in one way or another have had a major impact on global and English history. Nevertheless, other momentous things have happened in other periods of English history. Occurrences such as the English Civil War were also highly influential on English society, but don't garner the same modern interest and attention as the Tudors. So what is it that separates Tudor England from other periods in English history? Now, looking back at Tudor England, it wasn't just William Shakespeare that brought the drama. In fact, the rich stories that arose from the Tudor dynasty would have made fantastic dramas themselves. There were bitter sibling rivalries, doomed love stories, and secret long lost relatives returning to take power. In fact, you would be forgiven for thinking that the Tudor dynasty was the world's oldest soap opera. Well, actually the second oldest behind Coronation Street. It is perhaps these intriguing, dramatic, and sometimes unbelievable storylines that undoubtedly drew us back to the Tudors. We all know that any drama needs amazing characters, and the Tudors undoubtedly have these, with arguably two of the most famous monarchs of English history. Henry VIII, the brutal and flawed king, and Elizabeth I, the pioneering queen who had to fend off many threats to her power. On top of this, there are compelling side characters such as Shakespeare himself, Mary Queen of Scots, or Lady Jane Grey, the unfortunate nine-day queen. All of this make Tudor England fun to learn about for any historian or casual observer, which is something that probably differentiates the period from others in English history. The occurrences of Tudor England can be seen as ingredients in a perfect recipe that contributed to it being so ingrained in popular memory. The Tudor era has both events of importance and entertainment, which have caused it to be one of the most well-studied periods of history to this day. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe.